everybody, it's Reaper, and we're back in some Valnir Rock, or Roke. I've heard a couple people pronounce it Roke, but anyway, Valnir Rock. And uh, it is a Viking survival, medieval sur Viking survival game. <laughs> anyway, it's actually a really cool game. It's an early access, just to go over that again. And uh, so I think we're just going to talk a little bit in this video, go over a couple of things, and... Uh, you know, give it another quick view for those of you who haven't seen my other couple of videos. Uh, it is a really cool game. And uh, it has a pretty good sized map that I've seen none of. Like, I've literally only seen here. <laughs> like this area here. Uh, but it's got a really rich crafting system. Uh, it's got quests. Actually, I'll show you a quest here. This is basically a tutorial that lets you fight. Alright, hey, we're back recording stop for whatever reason uh, anyway uh, the, but yeah you can repeat that quest and I don't know if you have to actually run out of town to do it I've gotten it to repeat just because do I have a network connection or something or network problem but uh, yeah you can just do that also what I discovered is you can come over here and I see it said quest started okay so it takes a minute but you come over here, so you just rinse and repeat. I found it to be a really nice way to get XP and loot from the werewolf. And he's not running over to the guy. For whatever reason, he's making me look like a bear's making me look like a liar. Wow, okay. The bear making me look... Okay, there we go. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, buddy. What are you doing, man? Dude, don't. You son of a gun. All right. Thankfully, I have a bed down right here. Damn. This is my little house, which definitely needs improvement. Uh... But yeah, anyway, apparently if you step outside that gate and try to fight them, they get all kinds of pissed off. That is the first time I've seen that happen. So, yeah, there's that. That's nice. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the game has a lot of cool features. And they're adding more to it. There was an archery update not too long ago. That uh, improved the way archery functions and stuff. Take all of our stuff back. Oh my god. Can we repair this bow? Right click to repair. Not enough resources. Damn it. Alright, that's fine. Uh, where's our clothes? Alright, so we won't make that mistake again with the bear. Or any of them for that matter. And we'll put that, actually. Put our bandage down there. And our pickaxe, I guess. Oh, yeah, now the bear's doing it. You son of a gun. Damn it. But anyway, as you can see... So yeah, that ordinarily works really good. No, don't shoot him. Oh, well, I was in that. That was rough. Cause they would have kicked my ass again. I kind of gotta wonder. The bear spawns in here. Is he in here now? Ooh. Okay. See, so yeah, a little cheesy. He's pissed. Get away. Oh, we can hit him through there. So yeah, like I said, call it what you want. It is early access. I'm sure they'll fix stuff like this. I should probably be reporting it. But for now, we're just having some fun. 
you know, giving the game some well-deserved uh, screen time. Well, he's a toughie. The werewolf is a lot better, but with this bow, the werewolf is undoable because it literally takes forever. Stamina is definitely a uh, issue in this game. As you can tell by me breathing heavy. Dude, stop shooting. Not to mention weight. We're carrying quite a bit. But, uh... Did he respawn? What's his respawn? Nope, not yet. Alright, that's fine. But yeah, anyway, uh, the crafting system, and I went over this a little bit before, though, it's it's a, uh, it's basically, you drag an item over into the crafting window, and stuff pops up that you can make, but you have to just sharpen the sticks, what are they for? Oh, not only for vampires, that's funny. But like, you see, it says I have one stick out of the two resources needed, and once you, and then, so basically you just keep sticking stuff in, until you figure out what you need. And you can right click to just pull it out. Now I discovered that you can right click to put stuff in. Oh, we're going to make that. Yeah, we are. I don't think it's going to help our weight any. I really don't, but... Wait, did it help our weight? I want to say it did. It did help our weight. God damn it. If I'd have known that, it says carry more stuff, but I didn't know it meant... Ugh, that's frustrating. I would have made it a lot sooner. <laughs> like, a lot sooner. A lot, lot sooner. But yeah, this is just a good way to get XP. And we'll kill the boar. Okay, you want some? Oh, really? Our bow broke? Come on. You can double tap to like, to do your, to do a dodge. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, come on. Thankfully he's not that tough. The werewolf, on the other hand, would have beat her ass. Oh, let's get that, actually. It's just meat and hide, but we need it then. But yeah, so, the game has a ton of cool stuff. And once you discover something, like, I already know how to make the, tw the thread, then I can just click craft. And then, boom, Bob's your uncle. Bob is your uncle, I swear. Can we right, can we repair this? Oh, we did repair it. Thank goodness. All right, nice. We need our bow back. And for him to reset doesn't take long. Uh, we have abilities. Nice, we have two points. We can't put any more in that. We need three for that. Right here is where we can craft our werewolf bow. That thing, from what I've seen on other videos, does some damage. Then we have gods, which essentially you align yourself with a certain god. And it grants you abilities like, what do we have here? The saboteur coming soon, apparently. That one's in. Uh, this ability increases your, stra increases your damage done to enemies. It can be leveled up three times. But I'm saving my points because we need other stuff. But yeah, I really enjoy the game a lot, actually. And I want to keep putting it on the channel. <laughs> I mean, there's a few, a few little bugs here and there. Come on. Get 
stop me. But like I said, it's early access, you know. You're, you're going to have this. I don't mind. Did I drink that? Oh, he's kind of tough. Okay, not good. I don't want to die to a wolf. Which I think we're about to. Oh, come on. Are you serious? <laughs> Damn it. Well, you're getting to see me die a lot. That's interesting enough. Ugh. Anyway. But yeah, I'm really enjoying the game. Really want to get digging into it. Want to do a series on it? Like an actual playthrough? And I'm going to at some point. So right now we're just looking at it. We're checking things out. Getting a feel for the game mainly. You know? And it, it has auto run, which I absolutely love. Games that have auto run. Ark needs an auto run. It just does. I don't know why it doesn't have one. I mean, it's just never had. Where, where's my stuff? All right, now we get to re-equip all this again. Wouldn't mind seeing like an auto-equip your gear, but you know, maybe something down the road. Something down the road they'll add. Who knows? How come I couldn't use that earlier? I was spamming. Maybe I did use it. I was spamming it, that's for sure. Now you'll die. There we go. Yeah, now you're dead. Not so tough now, are you? No. Let's see how much XP we get. Right, let's look at our bar. It's right at the tip of the second box. And let's see what... Is the, is the bear back? Nope. Can he get out? Oh, you can't get out. What's the wolf giving us here? XP wise. Let's look at our bar down there. See, I don't know that holding the bow gives any more decent little chunk. Not a ton, but a decent little chunk. And again, this might seem a little cheesy, but early access. We're trying. That bear will not come back. All right, let's see if we can get. the bear to run out to him. Okay, so I think as long as we kind of scooch our butt over there. Alright, let's see what the bear gives us for XP. Let's see if we hold it down. Do we get any more? No. Yeah, so holding down, which I think they put the ability to hold the, the shot, like right here. I'm drawing back and it's using my stamina. I think that went in the last pat or the last archery patch they just added. Because I know I watched some videos and you couldn't do that. Well, I'm scared I'm going to hit that guy. Wouldn't think I would with the bear being so huge. But stamina, stamina. It goes back up pretty quick. Oh, snap. He killed that guy. Damn, he actually killed that guy. Please tell me he's going to respawn. Which is weird. The werewolf was attacking the crap out of him. And didn't kill him. There's no loot from him. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Please tell me he respawns. Because we need him to respawn. 
They might have to hot fix that because before he just didn't take any damage. Hmm. Okay. That's not good. Well, I mean, it's, you know, for the game wise, I guess it would be, but for our little trick, it's not good. I've been overweight like a lot. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Oh, hey, buddy. You're back. Thank God you're back. We got a well over here. We can drink some water. Uh, yeah, and it fills your uh, your water skin drinking tube by itself. So there's that. That's a bonus. Did it reset yet? No, not yet. If we get three ability points, we can see so go into third tier forger. Armor, strong leather helmets. Yeah, we're gonna want three points in forger. For forger. Forager. Forger. Yeah, we're forging. We're forging stuff. That's what we're doing. Okay. Hey now. Well, we know he respawns, so let him take the brunt of it. Oh, there's his health. Come on, give me the bear's health. See who goes down first, him or the bear. Probably him. I don't know. Come on. Come on. All right, we got this. Let's see, watch our XP bar down there. Let's see how much we get on this. Oh, ho! Oh, damn. Yeah, we're killing bears. Wow, we're killing bears. I did not realize that's how much you got. So we'll just chill out here for a sec. Craft max. Yes, please. Which, by the way, crafting also gives XP. See? Bar moved. Now, you can only craft one item at a time on your person. From what I think I've seen, you, which kind of does suck. Hopefully, they change it. Like, you can't craft something in the crafting station and still craft it on you. At least, I don't think you can. I could be wrong about that. It didn't seem like I could. And you can clear the queue if you want to. If you want to stop crafting. But yeah, really cool game. Uh, like I said, there's artifacts scattered throughout the world. These are my quests that I currently have. And I don't know what that is, but I know I'm probably not good enough to go there yet. So I haven't. And now we have to deliver a letter. And so the, some of the quests, I mean, they give XP, some of them, and they give basic stuff. But uh, I did get a decent bow that, like an idiot, I broke down earlier on. Because you can, uh, like, if you, like, I can click disassemble, and if it can be disassembled, it will. Uh, discover and craft, not 100% sure what that means. I guess maybe if we've already discovered it, it lets us do that. I'm not sure. Uh, let's do this again. It's so much fun to watch. Me kill a bear. That's right. Run over to him. You don't want none of me. Just don't hit the guy. Can I get the bears? 
Health up, please. Oh, I think he might go down before the bear does. I don't know. What is that? Nighttime is pretty dark in this game, which I do like. I like games that do night well. And I think they lowered it because I, well, I was watching another YouTuber on doing this, and he was saying about the night felt what, or was too long. Uh, I haven't really felt that it is. It seems like it's a decent amount of time, but not overly done. So, you know, I don't mind it. But, uh, yeah, so like I said, I want to do a, a series on it at some point, like a playthrough. <clears throat> and uh, it is a really cool game. Early access. It might still be on sale. I think I paid 13 bucks for it. Uh, I'm playing on an, on a PVE server. Uh, and so you know what? The, if the servers don't have a lot of people on them, don't get discouraged because... To be honest, there's a lot of stuff out here that I've seen built by people. Like, in fact, look, you can see all the beds and everything else. People are playing the game. I just haven't seen that many people on, but I don't even care. I mean, it'd be worth it just to play, because it doesn't have a single-player mode, which I don't necessarily understand why, but who cares? But again, I mean, I definitely highly recommend it. It's got a really robust crafting system. I like the different take on it, the way they did it. And uh, it is a really cool game. Very, very much enjoying it. Can't wait to see what the future holds for it, too. That's another thing I love about getting into games early. As you know, I mean, like ARK. I was in ARK for early access, and uh, way, way early. Like one of the early alphas. And, uh, it, you know what? It's got still got its problems, but it became an amazing game. And, uh... In fact, I'm going to do a series on it here pretty directly, I think. Oh, get away from me. You don't want none. Get it. Get, uh, 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 uh. That, that guy is so going to die. That bear still want a piece of me? But yeah, and I'm going to start on an official. So I'm going to do a series on official PvE. Not PvP. PvE is, or yeah, PvP is just so toxic. So toxic. But I do like playing on a server. Not to mention I own all the DLCs, so being able to cross map anywhere we want to will be nice, you know. And I am going to start doing some Pix uh, Pixark, which is actually a pretty cool game. I didn't mess around with it much, but enough to where I like it. Didn't pay I paid twenty bucks for it, and that was on sale Christmas time, you know, holidays. Don't kill Olgrim, you stupid bear. He did. Oh, and we're out of arrows. Oh, we're in trouble. Oh, thank God, we got him. Oh, wow. Damn, breathe a little heavier, why don't you, dude? You're killing me, man, you're killing me. Literally, can we make any arrows? Yeah, we got two rocks. Two. God damn it. Anyway, real quick, I'll show you how to harvest. Uh, it's like any other game. Now, there is one small twist. Uh, yeah, like, look. See all these beds out here? There's people. People playing the game. Anyway, where, <clears throat> where's a rock? Fireplace. Yeah, see, people playing the game. Me a rock. All right, so here's clay. So instead of just going up to it and hitting it, you have to actually act like press F to mine. Once you do that, it kind of get puts you into a little bit of a like you can feel yourself lock into the harvest. But I'm not locked in because I can still move. But to actually harvest it, I actually have to activate it essentially. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. You, you feel me, right? 
But anyway, that is some more Valnir Rock. Just a quick little edit, or a, yeah, edit, a little tutorial quick. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And let me know what you think of my new intros. Uh, because I've been working on some, and uh, I'm pretty happy with them. So let me, let, let me know what you think. And uh, we'll see you next time in Valnir Rock. And uh, check out my other videos. Thanks. Have a great night.